What's up guys and gals, Mirror Mask here. Gonna uh, do a video on two browser games that uh, I've been goofing off on a little bit the past few days. Uh, one of them has been around for a while. I actually played it many, many years ago. It's called, it's this one right here. It's called Adventure Quest Worlds. It came out in like 2008 or something like that. But um, it's a fun little game. Just gonna kind of give you a little overview of it, just in case you have no idea what this game is and you've never heard of it. Like, who knows? Maybe you haven't. I don't know. A lot of people don't go out searching for browser games, but I used to have a little Chromebook, and um, I kind of got back into playing browser games a little bit when I had that, because you know it, it's a Chromebook, it's Google Chrome. So what can you do? But um, yeah, so I, I had to remake an account. And all that stuff because like most gamers if you haven't played a game in like five years or something like that you probably don't remember your login and so that was the case for me I could not remember my login I could not remember what email address I used with it or anything like that because uh, I use multiple email addresses but anyway that's beside the point I remade an account and everything um like I said it's a browser game it, it runs entirely off uh, I think it's like flash or maybe it's Java. No, I think it's Flash. But it's entirely off Flash. Uh, what I'm using right now is a standalone um, launcher. And uh, I'll show you how to make standalone launchers for uh, browser games a little bit later on in this video when I show you the second game. Um, the second game is a newer game that I just came across. Uh, I never really even heard of it before. And I'll get into a little bit about that later. But uh, just kind of give you an overview of what this game is. If you're not familiar with it, um, who knows? Maybe there's people out there who aren't. Um, it's an MMORPG. It's browser-based. Um, it's kind of, you know, it is 2D, but at the same time, it's, you know, there's up and down movement on the screen and stuff. There's quests and stuff to do. Um... This isn't really the highlight game of this video. It's it's the other one that I wanted to show you. But I just kind of wanted to go over this a little bit. Um, you've got you know setting stuff. You've got quest stuff, storyline quest. You've got regular quests. You've got badges, upgrades. Obviously, it's got upgrades. It is a free to play game. Um, although the upgrades are not like game breaking. Like the cash shop stuff is not exactly game breaking which I like that that's cool um, you can buy you know extra bag slots um, a little bit of gear and stuff like that but it's not like game breaking kind of gear um, it, there is like a membership thing that you can get kind of similar to like free realms where you get extra boost and XP and stuff like that for uh, being a member um, different classes you can play um, right now I'm playing kind of like a healer class. I'll give you a, a little taste of what the combat looks like. It's kind of a, a side scroller type thing. Usually there's a ton of people in this little area. But you got your uh, action bar down here. Right now I am playing a healer class so like I can heal myself for example. This is kind of how the combat rolls. I mean you really don't have to be like super involved in the combat in this game you can pretty much just highlight something click one skill and then just take your hands off and you know every now and then you may want to heal yourself or something if it's a tough mob i find it's not too difficult to uh play this game at all it's kind of like a uh it's a goofy little game like if you want to you know, if you're sitting in an airport like me, I, I do a lot of traveling to Canada back and forth sometimes. And stuff. Sometimes I'm sitting in an airport or I'm sitting in a bus station or wherever, and I don't feel like pulling out on my really powerful gaming laptop. I just kind of want to whip out like a little netbook or something like that or like a little Chromebook and just kind of goof off on a game or something like that. This is a perfect kind of game to do. I mean, it's not... You don't have to dump a, a whole lot of time into this game. You can hop on for 5, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, whatever. You know, kill a few mobs, do a quest or two, uh, and, uh, you know, close your Chromebook. Go to wherever you're going. You know, if there's Wi-Fi on a bus, like, for example, some of the buses in Toronto have uh, Wi-Fi on them. So I can just pop over to Chromebook, you know, game a little bit while I'm riding the bus type thing, you know. 
it's a fun little game. Uh, let's see, you've got uh, character sheets and stuff. One thing that's weird about this game that I, I'm kind of not sure why they haven't done anything about it. It's been like this ever since I can remember. When you go to open like your stats or your class sheet or your character page or anything like that, like it opens it up in a separate window. Like another browser window pops open. I don't like that. I don't see why. I mean, if you've got stuff like this that can load up in the game, you know, like your uh, quest stuff can load up in a little window like this and all this, I don't understand why your character sheets can't open up inside the game. I mean, <laughs> I know, you know, that's not the first complaint about that, but um, there's a map and everything in the game. You know, a ton of different areas to go visit. Uh, I'm not high enough level yet because I had to restart character the other day. But, um, yeah, I mean, you got inventory slot sorted out. It's a cool little game. I mean, that's that's the point I'm getting at. It's a cool little game. See, as far as the, um, you got, you got a house that you can't go to. I don't have a house just yet, but there's housing and stuff in the game. Like, if I wanted to do a story quest, I just click on one, and it'll automatically teleport me to the area. There's uh, cutscenes and stuff in the game. I don't think I can... Um... Okay, I wasn't sure if it was going to show up. There's a ton of people that play this game. For a browser game, there's a lot of people that play this game. Let's see, let me go in here. I'm going to go and kill this dragon, because I've already cleared out some of this. I think the dragon's in this area. I think the cutscenes are pretty cool and everything. I mean, I've always kind of thought they were. But I'm just trying. I'm just trying to give you a quick little overview of this. You know, I'm not going too in depth in it. It's not too in depth to get into. It's it's just like I said. You know, it's a pretty. You know, straightforward, simple little browser game. Kill some time with, fun to play. Works out really well on Chromebooks and stuff. Uh, let me see if I can actually go to the server select and give you an idea of how many people play this game. Like right now, there are 17,321 people. Each one of these servers, sometimes some of these servers are just flat out full like just maxed out I'm not sure what they max out at I think it's like 3,500 players or something like that but yeah I mean there's a lot of people playing this game for such an old browser game but uh anyway I'm gonna go ahead and shut this game down and open up the other game that I wanted to talk to you guys about and kind of show off a little bit go ahead and get logged in and everything into it then I'll have to refresh on my uh, capture software uh, give me one second guys that should no, that didn't get it I don't know why it's so difficult Like, OBS has really been messing up lately. Okay, let's do this. Okay. There we go. All right, cool. Now we got it captured. All right, this game is called HeroCon. Um, from what I understand, I did some reading up on it. it it's, it's new to me. Like, I've totally never heard of it until, like, about three or four days ago. Apparently, like over in England or in in the you know the British side of the world, you know, like over here we have Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings, you know, all this stuff. Not to say they don't have it over there, but as far as like our you know well-known game franchises and stuff, we have like Lord of the Rings, we have like Dungeons and Dragons, stuff like that along that little genre area. In this. This game is like huge over there from what I understand. It's called HeroCon. It's kind of like their version of Dungeons and Dragons, 
Um, it is browser based. It opens up in full screen, and you can also launch it in its own little application version. Like I said, I'll show you how to do that uh, shortly. But this little game, like at first glance, I was like looking at screenshots and maybe a little video here and there. And I was like, eh, I don't really know. I don't. I don't know if that's. But I was like, what the heck? It's free to play. I don't have to download anything. It launches in my browser. I'll give it a try. I have been having a blast with this game. I really have. This game is a lot more fun than I originally gave it credit for. Um, it does, it looks like, you know, when you move around, it is a little choppy looking. It's, you know, I, I thought when I was running it on my little netbook that I was like, crap, man, my graphics suck on here. But then I, I launched on here. No, nah, that's just how it runs. But I mean, you've got quest and all kinds of stuff. It's got these little cutscene things that, that um, pop up every now and then. I'm trying to figure out where my quest wants me to go. Let's see. Let me see. Let me open up the map and see if it tells me. But yeah, see, it's a pretty good sized world here. Um, the quests are they're they're pretty cool. Um, it has kind of the same. I just went blank. Where's my quest log? Oh, <laughs> I was thinking. Of, I was looking where adventure quest was. I was just playing it. But um, you got like daily quests and stuff you can do. Uh, oh, good. I can actually do some daily quests. This would be a perfect time. I like how the daily quests work in this game. It pops up a little book. Actually, you know what? I need to go and I need to vendor some stuff real quick because my bags are full. Yep. Um, it does have a cash shop. From what I can tell, I dug through the cash shop a little bit. It doesn't, it's not pay to win by any means. Um, you can buy some. You know, some extra bag slots and stuff like that. As far as I can tell right now, though, I'm not able to buy any credits for this. Like, if I open up the shop, for example, and I click load platinum, like, it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't pop anything up. Maybe I have to go directly onto their site again and charge up that way. Um, see, I, there's no equipment you can buy right now or anything. There's some movement speed boosts and stuff which are nice for kind of getting around the world but you know that's not a game breaking feature right there um bag slots you know like a 90 slot bag would be great to have because you only start out with a very limited number and it fills up extremely fast um you've got some health pots you could buy and you can kind of customize the way you look and that's that's kind of it there's not too much more in the cash shop that's you know game breaking by any means I'm trying to find where the vendor is okay there's one up there one thing I do wish though I wish you could move the map around when you open it up but you can't but I mean that's not that's not too bad I mean I can see around here to kind of click but it would be nice to be able to click on the map or something since it does take up a large chunk and just kind of run yourself that way all right I'm gonna go to this vendor here I'm gonna trade I'm gonna click this to go to sell mode and what can I sell healing potion yeah I don't need that goblin weapon I'll save that I don't know what that is but I'll save that um, worn out tired shoes with the defense uh, don't need those this weapons not for me so I don't need that all right I think I've sold enough I think I've sold enough to uh, do my daily quest I think it's Q yep Q opens up your quest log I'm gonna go to daily quest and I'm just gonna select one and go for it and it'll automatically load you up and take you to where you need to go to do this quest now graphic wise I do like the art style where'd I come in at down here I do like the art style right now I'm playing a, a uh, archer class I'll, I'll 
let me let me close i'm gonna take off my uh overlay real quick so you guys can see the skill bar because i need to show you something about the skill bar uh real quick overlay off and came back on all right now this is your skill bar down here this is your xp bar right here this is your health bar these are your buffs up under here um, you can add people into a party and all that good stuff um here's your money down here this skill bar at first i was like wow dang there's only five slots for skills that kind of sucks and then I was like clicking up. I was like, okay, you got different different bars. But then I, I saw this little error right here and I clicked on it and it didn't do anything. So I was like, well, that's dumb. But I figured I click and held it and I drug it. And look at that. Now I've got all these other skills on here that I didn't even know. Like I have pickpocket and all that other stuff. So that's how you get a bigger skill bar. You drag it. You drag this little error right here which is pretty cool. I, I like that. I like that it doesn't just pop up another box. That's kind of neat looking how it works. But anyway, let me put my overlay back on. All right, so I'm going to do this quest here. I'm going to uh, shoot one of these guys. I'm going to hit him with a stun arrow. And then I'm going to hit him with a long shot. Far shot. Take these guys out. The combat, it does feel, you know, a little slow, but, you know, it, it's got a real nostalgic kind of feeling to it, and I like that. Oh, we got another guy. Oh, he don't want none of this. Let's see, we're going to run over here. We're going to hit him with stun shot. Pew. And it missed him. <laughs> I'm just trying to run circles. I was trying to see if I could kite with this guy. But yeah, you know, it's a cool little browser game. I mean, I'm impressed with it. I love the art style of it. It has like a really... Maybe like a, a Path of Exile-y kind of color palette to it. Um, I like the detail on the ground. It's like really detailed, but it's not over detailed. You know what I mean? Now, from what I've seen in some of the screenshots, some of the higher level areas look really impressive. Like I'm still kind of in the low flatland kind of area. Wait, go to the swamp. Every time I move to the top of the screen, that little... <laughs> But that that that's cool. Here, I'll do that real quick so you guys can see. That's where you go to get the game. But since you are running in full screen, every time you touch the top corner, it pops that thing up. All right, it's telling me to go to the swamp. How do I go to the swamp? Uh-oh, I clicked off the... Okay, let's see. I don't really want to leave because I think I just ruined the quest. That's the way these quests work, these daily quests. You only get three of them. Unless you, you know, I guess you can pay in the cash shop to kind of boost it a little bit, but whatever. But yeah, once you, once you come out of it, even if you didn't complete it, look, boom, you burned it. You burned it up for the day. Ooh, the werewolf. I want to try this one out. Yeah, we'll accept this one. You do have uh, character sheets, stuff like that. Let me go over that. You've got uh, you can write a little biography, bi biography if you want to. Overview just kind of tells your titles, your race, your class, your level, all that stuff. Then you got attributes. Um, it's a eight attribute system. These are the attributes. You can manually put uh, points, distribute them how you want in those. Um, you have talents, combat, physical, nature, social, lore. You have special abilities. 
which I assume is kind of like a skill tree where you can kind of branch stuff off. You have your achievements. And apparently, I haven't collected any of these. Okay, what do we do here? Collect, okay, collect. Oh wow, look at this, giving me XP. Why didn't I, <laughs> I didn't know to collect this stuff. Oh man. Wow, I just shot up in level like, okay, that's cool. Wow, so that's that's definitely a good way to level right there. What is this? Does it tell you what to do? Reach level 10. What were some of these things? Open your hero sheet. What is this? Beast Mastery. Defeat 10 Predators. Okay, almost got that. Wow, I like that. I like that. Ton of achievements. Ton of achievements to do here, it looks like. And every time you complete them... You collect rewards, XP, money. That's good, that's good. See, I'm learning as I go. Like I said, I only discovered this game the other day. Um, I like that, that's cool. That's real cool. All right, then you got your equipment tab, which is what you saw earlier, the, the bags. Um, see, I've only got one slide available now. But you can click on here, you can add uh, five slot, 15 slot, 30 slot, 60 slot, or 90 slot. I don't know how much these credits are. Um, I do know that the five slot is 150 and just for verifying your email, they give you 200 tokens. So you can essentially just buy a five slot right off the bat, which I recommend doing because I need to go ahead and do that now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and boost my slots by five slots. The 90 slot I would love to get it's almost 2,000 tokens. I don't know how much the tokens are. I'll have to go to the site and find that out. But uh, let's do this uh, werewolf quest here. Okay, there's a wolf there. I see a wolf. Shoot him with the crossbow. Okay, wow. For a second there, I thought I wasn't doing damage to him. I thought he was tough. Now... I'm wondering, wow, that thing just knocked me on my rear. Oh my god, get up, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> he keeps knocking me on my butt. Oh, man. Alright, cool. Quest is done. And look, look, I got another achievement. stuff bam look at all the XP it gives you this that's cool that's cool and it gives you some monies too that's awesome all right so am I I think I'm done anything over here nope I'm done with this quest I love the art style in this game though because it's not it's not cartoony it's a little gritty. I'm definitely liking that. Okay, we got one more daily quest we can do, I think. Yep. Uh, let's see. Mother's little helper, the ripper. Yeah, we'll do the ripper. Yeah, we'll do this one. Takes a second for it to load because it is a browser with the game, so it's having to download stuff on the fly. Uh Okay, so I gotta kill a pig. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Talk to this little person. I was hoping it was gonna show you guys a cutscene. Uh I've already been going for twenty five minutes on this video, so I do wanna go ahead and wrap it up very shortly okay I think um do I, can I talk to this guy no okay I think I pretty much finished off on that one 
I think. Yeah. Yep, and then we're back in the world. As you see, this guy right here, this is another player. Now, I know you can, through the map, you can quick travel around. Use your mouse wheel to roll out. Um, as you can see, all this area right here, this is this is a pretty huge area. Like on this map. It's, it's a pretty good sized world. I do not yet have a travel companion. Hmm. I should buy one of these. Oh, okay. It's only for seven days. Is there a permanent one? No. Okay. I don't need that necessarily. Okay, so that's a level eight area. Okay. Alright, yeah, so I'm still... Still level seven. Not a problem, not a problem. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, Game-wise, that is. And I'm going to show you guys how it is that you turn this into like a standalone kind of launcher for the game, basically. Um, let me come out of full screen here. And now we're in... Uh, let me... I'm going to swap this over real quick, and I'm going to go to just monitor capture. So you guys can see what I'm talking about here. We'll capture monitor one. See, this is a standalone um, thing for this game here. See, I can do all the things that you could with a normal standalone game. There's no address bars, there's nothing like that. Um, let me go ahead and bring this down. All right. Now, what you want to do is let me pull the site up real quick. All right. Here we go. You'll um. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just leave it like that because it's, it's saying that I'm already connected, which is fine. No problem. Alright, so I have the web page just like this. Alright, it's a standard web page. It's on Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome. Um, you can do this on Firefox as well. Uh, I just prefer Google Chrome. Um, as you can see, it's it's a web page right now. Yes, I could go into full screen. I could do that. Yada, yada, yada. But what this does is it allows me to, for example, just have a shortcut right here with the icon and everything. I just click on that, it launches it just like any other game and how you do that is you'll go to the site for your uh, any of your browser based games and you'll go to the menu you'll bring that down and you will go to tools and then where it says create application shortcut you click that and it makes it into a standalone application for Google Chrome so then when you double click on it, it'll just open it up like a regular game and not, you don't have to go through all the web browser stuff. Um, and to give you an example of what it does, see this right here, it's in a browser window. Now if I close that and I go to games and I just double click on the uh, shortcut it made, there it is right there. It just launches in its own little application window all by itself. And there we go. It's going to reconnect me. And I'll show you, I'll show you some of the characters real quick. Oh, okay, okay. I still got the browser window open. Anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this stuff. These are just two little games that I kind of goof off around with in, uh, you know, like, a Google, like a Chromebook or something like that or a netbook, something that just runs browser games. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, definitely check out Herocon 
I thoroughly enjoy it so far. It doesn't seem like it's it's pay to win. Um, from what I understand, it is a huge game over on the other side of the world. You know, maybe not here so much. You know, we're into Diablo and stuff like that over here um, as far as these sty style games. But uh, anyway, make sure to uh, rate you know whether you like it or dislike it if you dislike it you know feel free to let me know what about you didn't like in the comments you know cuz you know I don't want to like complain or anything like that but usually when I get a thumbs down it's like I don't know what it is that you didn't like did you not like the music did you not like the game itself did you not like the content you know whatever so uh, yeah, if if you don't if you don't like either one of these games, let me know why in the comments below. If you think there's some better browser games out there, which I know there are, you know I'm not saying these are the best ones out there. Leave those in the comments below. Um, share the video. Um, I hope the little tip about the the application launcher for Google Chrome uh, helps you out if if you're looking for something like that. Um, I'm done. All right, you guys take care and uh, peace.